Hello and welcome to another plan with me. It's been a while since I've got a plan with me video up but this is such an exciting spread. This was Kat's wedding week so we are going back to May, the end of May, but I am so excited to show you this spread. Apologies about any background noise, it's really hot. We've got the aircon on, I have turned my fan off, but the doors are open so we've got birds, we've got animals, so <laughs> we'll just have to deal with whatever we get. But Kat has done a plan with me for this week on her channel, so I'll link that down below if you want to see her spread because it was her wedding. So I feel like her perspective on this is going to be different to mine, obviously, because I wasn't the bride. <laughs> um, but it was it was such a beautiful day, and like the whole week was so exciting, like with the lead up to the wedding. And the kit that I've just shown you was our mystery for June and when Kat got engaged, I I don't actually I don't know how close it was. Um, we've had the art for like a year but I basically said to Kat I was like would you like to do a kit for your wedding like we could do a wedding mystery and the inspo could basically be like your wedding vibes and like we don't have to make it like your literal wedding but like we could just have you know bits and bobs and we ended up quite heavily theming it on Kat's wedding like well literally very heavily but I think it's so like usable for other events as well. Well, not other events, but other weddings because it's just like such pretty wedding vibes, kind of like rustic farmhouse. And you've got like a grand house for like one of the scenes. And I feel like her wedding is so like classic and timeless that it's gonna be such a useful kit. But anyway, it was the mystery. Um, I think there might be overstock of it. Not very much if there is, but I think there's maybe a couple of standard vertical kits left. But it's just been such an exciting kit, like knowing that it's coming and not being able to talk about it for like a year. And Kat couldn't even show Stuart, her fiance, cause like we had her dress in it. So she, uh, he's, he saw bits and bobs, but like not the whole thing. So yeah, such a special week for us, mainly Kat, but me as well. <laughs> cause I was a best person, Kat called her bridal party best people. And I was so honored to be a best person as well. But yeah, let's get into the spread. Um, I chose gold foil, I've used like bits of the confetti bundle and then later on I have some heart headers that I pull in to tie in like the love vibes also in the washi as well but I'm battling with an underlay box at the minute. I find them quite challenging to use and I don't tend to need to use them very often but for the wedding day which was the Sunday I, I needed an extra box so I did a toolbox, I had the one of Kat and Stuart that I made for me and Kat and Emma like specifically um, because it has the couple that looks like Kat and Stuart like with the hair colours so I made that my like toolbox for my extra stuff and I put like underlays underneath so I basically made my extender with underlays which I don't know if that's a thing but it worked quite well for what I needed it to do um, and then I was chatting when this happened I actually started planning this in the wrong planner I have not done a plan with me in a while like when I filmed this and I ended up sticking the stickers down initially in my like photo planner so Tilly made me an extra planner an undated one it basically looks the same as this but um it's for like using for photos and it's basically just like blank it's not my real planner and I ended up using that by accident so I had to take the stickers up and put them in my actual planner but luckily it's removable mat so it all remove really easily but I was just like of all the things like I, I would get the wrong week fairly often but to get the wrong planner <laughs> is the new one for me so in my sidebar I've just got that Kat and Stuart tied the knot and I've got a really cute once more with love a wedding sticker and I put one of the heart icons from the foil pack like above them as like a little heart I thought it was really cute and then on to Monday the first thing I marked was that I tested my makeup I don't wear it that often and we were doing our own bridesmaid makeup and Kat was getting our hair done so it was just makeup that I had to sort out so I was like I'll do a test run and I did plan to wear makeup like the whole week so I got really used to wearing it but I only did it this one day but it worked out fine anyway so I did my makeup and then I took a photo because I was like I've got my because I'd wash my hair and stuff as well and I think I had a new dress arrive so I was like well I've got my hair done I've done my makeup I might as well try and take a photo so I've got like quite a nice not professional but like a headshot type picture now which is useful because quite often I'm asked for a headshot and I'm like oh like I'm gonna have to take a picture because I do not have like a suitable one or an up-to-date one because I have a couple from when I was really blonde but I'm more brunette now so I did that and then this day Tom's suit arrived so I ordered a few from ASOS we went with like a forest green so very similar to the color of Monday actually and it looked really nice like I wasn't sure if it was gonna like 
I mean, I wanted something to compliment me. So our dresses were like a sage green. I've done a picture of me and Emma with next to Kat in the sidebar. And our dresses are actually, they looked more green than that on the day, but kind of with the lighting and stuff, it looks more beige. But we were like a really light green. And I thought if Tom is like forest green, that will look really nice against me. <laughs> so I picked that and he looked really nice in the suit. So I was really glad because I was not really feeling if we were going to have to go to like a shop and get a replacement one. So luckily ASOS pulled through. Then I reformatted some old mystery kits this day and after that I messaged Courtney who is our pet sitter because she was coming to look after the animals at the weekend and there was a few things that had changed since the last time she'd been like their uh, food changed a little bit and I just needed to give her the up-to-date details and then this was when I was still waiting for my file of facts so this is how far behind we are um, and I was like getting so frustrated I was like where is my planner I just really want it now and I didn't want it to arrive after I'd kind of like lost interest in it. Like I know it'd only been like a week at this point or maybe like a week and a bit, but I was like still in my oh my god file of acts rings phase and I really just wanted it to arrive while I was still feeling like that and I think it did, but I then had to go to the wedding so I didn't really like set it up or anything this week. Then on to Tuesday, we took Ari to the groomers and there was the cutest Y Morena puppy. I love Y Morenas. Like they're just adorable. And he, she, I think it was a she, she was so well behaved and just an angel. So I marked that. And then I marked that I had a productive but bitty day, which is kind of the vibes for today, to be honest. I have to go out in a bit to get my hair done. Like, oh, I have to go out. It's such a chore. Um, no, I did book it. But like, I, I like to fit my appointments in kind of in the day so because it's less busy although now it's school holidays it's not really um but then it means that I'm doing like bits of work in chunks rather than being able to just like knuckle down and do like a solid like five hours of one thing um so that's probably the vibes for this day as well so I marked that with a little stick with the Planko like productivity girl they're super cute I had a stick with the Planko order come in and so I've got some new stickers to use which I'm excited about I then marked that I asked the Facebook group a question about the website navigation because I made some changes specifically to how it looks on mobile to make it a little bit more kind of easy to use. Um, I thought I did anyway, but I wanted to get like feedback and it was mostly positive. I think there was a few tweaks I made, but otherwise people were happy with the change I made. So that was good. And then I marked that I had my nail appointment and I actually brought my bridesmaid dress to the appointment because I was like, I need these nails to match perfectly. And we almost got it like exact. They, were, they looked so good. It had like a little bit of a sage sheen to it of like gold, which matched like the theme. And um, yeah, I was really pleased with the color match that we got. In an ideal world, I would have really liked to have filmed this spread with those nails, but June ended up being so chaotic. Um, there was no way that I was getting that done. So I have lime green nails at the minute, which is like completely random. I just ended up picking them like on a whim and they don't match anything. So kind of not the best, but I mean, it's green at least. So like <laughs> it's, the, it's the best I can do at the minute. I just needed to get this filmed. Um, then I marked that I collated and stocked two kits and I made a group chat with Lieselot and Emma because Lieselot came from the Netherlands to Kat's wedding and there was a few like, um, like organisational things we needed to discuss and we were meeting for dinner on the Saturday so we were just like let's make a chat so that everyone knows what we're doing. So on to Wednesday, I marked it went to Aldi and it was so busy. Like we've recently become Aldi shoppers. Well, we haven't really been since this day, I think, but we really liked Aldi last time we went. So um, we went again and it was super chaotic. Like not like unbearably so, but I don't know why so many people were in there because we try and go in the morning thinking it's going to be less busy, but I don't really know if there is a less busy time. Um, then I was checking my planner tracking and I got this weird number from eBay that I now think is a specific like eBay tracking number, but Royal Mail did not know what to do with it. It wasn't in the normal format and it was just like feeding into my stress about why my planner is not here. And, um, yeah, I was like, I have no, I've never seen this number before. And I feel like I'm quite like clued up on how Royal Mail works. So I was so baffled by this. Then I was hoovering and our hoover got blocked, so I spent a bit of time unblocking it. Um, but it vacuums so good now, like I do think you are meant to periodically clean your hoovers and I will normally only just like clean them when they get blocked, so I need to try and make sure that I actually do that as like a preventative measure rather than just 
like a when it needs it then i fixed our ring doorbell because we were having issues with it and we weren't really sure why we thought it was like a battery issue so i ordered a new spare battery because ours is quite old so i was like maybe it's just like you know like degraded but i don't really know if it was because when i ended up swapping the battery again like a different time the old battery worked again so whatever fixed it i don't know but i was like i'm claiming this victory <laughs> so i marked that and then I marked that Ari didn't want to go out in the rain because we had a lot of rain and we really struggled to get him to like go to the toilet in the garden when it's rainy like he will just wait inside the whole day so I had to like take him on a walk to get him to go to the toilet or eventually try and shove him out <laughs> but he's not a fan of rain and then I marked that I cleaned the bathroom and the shower which is honestly the worst job I hate the bathroom like I don't even mind the shower that much it's just doing it all in one go I get so sweaty <laughs> so I have to try and like time it for when I need to have a shower and then I will clean the shower in the shower that's my like life hack so moving on to Thursday I scheduled new releases I had everything done really early this week I said to Kat I was like can you get married every week because I have been very productive this week which is unlike me because I knew that we had to leave on the Saturday so I was like I do not want a stressful Friday <laughs> um then I had my whack my eyebrow wax and I had a lash lift for the wedding I like getting lash lifts for special occasions because they last quite well on me probably like at least sort of eight weeks so it's nice to kind of have that ready so i haven't got to worry about curling my eyelashes because i have really long straight eyelashes <laughs> so they're kind of a nightmare then i returned tom's shoes to next because i'd ordered some when i ordered the suits and we didn't know if he was going to be like size 10 or 11 so i ordered both and i had to return the 10s and I've never done this before. I went into Next and I expected to go to like a returns counter, but it was all automated. It was like a machine. So I got part way through doing my return and then the machine started like throwing up glitchy errors and I like didn't know what to do because there was no one around. So I tried to take a picture to show that I had like given it my shoes because you had to put them in this box, but I had no confirmation. I hadn't got an email confirmation. So I then had to queue up anyway. And I was like, can, like is it going to be okay because I have just like posted my shoes through this door but I haven't had a return I haven't had a confirmation and she was like yeah probably <laughs> so I eventually did get the refund but I was like oh my god like have I just like given the shoes away <laughs> without any proof um but yeah it was fine in the end and I actually did get an email confirmation but because I was in the shop I didn't have a signal so it didn't come through <laughs> but anyway after that, I came home and I made a card for Cat and Stuart because I really wanted to make their card with this artwork that we got made. So I did that and I was voice noting Joanne because it didn't work initially. Like I was printing directly onto card and then when I tried to score it to fold it, it was like almost like fraying. Like the print was kind of like going weird. Um, I can't remember how we fixed it, but anyway, Joanne was guiding me through that. So <laughs> thanks, Joanne. And then this day, I also found some boots that I was looking for for my Eras Tour outfit. I ended up not actually wearing them, but I'd like looked for ages for these kind of like knee high, but like not quite to the knee, kind of like mid or like high calf length boots. Um, and I, ideally I wanted them to be like glittery, but I wasn't gonna get those. So I found these black ones and I thought about painting them, but when they came, like they just, they looked really weird. They didn't really like hit me at the right point. And I thought like these are just gonna be like so warm because it is in like, well, it was in June, but it, it was warm that day. So yeah, I didn't end up wearing the boots, but I'd looked for ages and finally found them. So I was excited about that. So on Friday, the first thing I marked was that we did some last minute shopping for Tom. He just wanted like, I can't even remember, I think a tie. We ended up actually like he wore a tie that he already had, but he just wanted like a spare tie. And we went to Asda first and there was nothing. And we were like, I thought this was gonna be like our best bet because our Asda was really big, but there was like barely anything in the men's section. So we went to Sainsbury's and they had so many things. I even got him a purple t-shirt for Planifest this day because I saw it and I was like, you can just wear that because we aren't gonna have like uniform or anything, but it would be nice for him to be kind of on brand. So we went to Sainsbury's and got some bits. I then tidied the spare room because like I said, Courtney was coming. So I just had to like change the bedding and make sure it wasn't quite as messy as it normally is. And during this, I found Tom's Lego Lamborghini Countach, which I think I bought him when we were like, we hadn't been together very long. Um, and I like broke a little bit of it off and I was like, oh my God. So I was trying to fix it for ages and I couldn't get it to like stay. I'm not very good at Lego. I mean, to be fair, I haven't done much Lego like 
to have built up that skill but like I really couldn't figure out how it worked and in the end Tom did come and help me and yeah like we fixed it but I don't know why it was so weird like and I've also as a child I broke my uncle's Lego car and I could never fix that either so I don't know what it is with my brain and Lego <laughs> um then we ordered pizza I think we got it from fire away which is actually like a chain I didn't know they were a chain but I really like their pizza and we watched an episode of Don't Tell the Bride because we wanted to get in the, the bridal mindset for Kat for the weekend. Um, and this episode was when they got married in an aquarium. So different vibes to Kat's wedding, but it was quite entertaining. And I like layered a little wedding dress and the TV, which I thought was really cute. The TV is slightly the wrong green. Like I might go and swap that if I can think of something. We'll find something that's a little bit more sage green but I think it looks cute anyway. And then I just marked that I really struggled to sleep this day. I don't know if I was a bit like, I don't think I was anxious, but I guess like excited about the wedding. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't sleep that well. So on to Saturday, I finished packing very last minute, but that's kind of how we pack. Also, I find it really hard to pack when you're using your things. Like I can't pack my like toothpaste or my hairbrush or anything I actually forgot my hairbrush on this trip which is funny because like I'm using them so like do you just have duplicates of everything or like how does this work you can tell I don't really travel very much <laughs> um but then Courtney came and stayed with Ari so we set off and we were watching the qualifying for the Formula One in the car and I marked that it was Charles who got P1 and Oscar got P2 and they were having this like joke thing on social media at the time that Oscar had been adopted by Charles so I put that it was Oscar Piastri Leclerc as his like adopted name <laughs> then as we were driving I saw the two like oh, I saw two places that I've ordered packaging for from from oh my god words two companies that I've ordered packaging for, from I saw their like warehouses so I just marked I saw that so that was interesting um, and then when we got to Stevenage, um, we went to Frankie and Benny's with Liz Lot and Emma and Simon, but I didn't mark the boys in my planner, so Tom and Simon were there as well. And I got pizza, and we also got this amazing, like, Rolo cookie that I think Kat talked about it in her plan with me, because she and Emma went to... No, her and Emma? She and Emma? Emma and her? <laughs> Emma and Kat <laughs> went to Frankie and Benny's on Friday, and they had this Rolo cookie as well, so Emma recommended it and it was very good. Then I just marked that we hung out at the Airbnb with Kat and there was this super cute dog, the most adorable dog, who belonged to like the owners of the Airbnb and he would like run around the garden and like frolic and we got to see him and it was just the cutest. The Airbnb was so beautiful, it was like just it was really nice to get ready together in an airbnb like i've never really been part of a bridal party as an adult anyway but like it was just so beautiful it like complemented the vibes of the wedding really well and then we are on to sunday which is the wedding day i do have to nip and go and get my hair done so i will be back to finish this voiceover after that you really didn't need to know all that information <laughs> So I am back, we are voicing over the wedding day, I'm so excited. So I started by trying to figure out what I was doing with my extender. I think I put like four things on it, so it was just a case of like, how are we going to space this out? Because I didn't actually have like a full box on the day, it's just, the full box is just the extender part. So I marked that I was up early, I think I got up about, probably, I don't know actually, maybe about half seven eight not not that early to be honest like I was cut put us into like slots for our hair so I did my makeup first I think my hair was maybe around like 10 so to be honest not that early at all um but I did my makeup first then came down and had my hair done and they were like taking photos while we were getting ready and it was really cute so I marked that with a stick with the Planko makeup squidge and I marked that Kat looked beautiful because she did it was just oh so like it was such a beautiful like day and oh, I'm, I'm gonna just like gush over this day forever and like it's just it's everything that Kat wanted and having seen it all from like the Pinterest board to like her planning bits and bobs and then to see it all come together was just amazing so I lo just loved being a part of it. 
I then marked that we got the VW camper van to the venue. So Kat had chosen this like vintage camper. It looked so cute. It was like pure white with like decorations and flowers and it was just beautiful. So we, that was our transport to the venue. It wasn't that far. Um, then we had the ceremony, which I've marked. It's so weird, like marking things for the day because there's so much I could mark and I'm like, how do I summarize this? So we had the ceremony, cer ceremony and Emma and I like walked down the aisle with uh, each other <laughs> and then Kat came after us and it was just so beautiful. And then we had photos and confetti. So mine and Emma's job on the day was to hand out confetti. So it was like um, like kind of dried flowers and we had these little baskets. So we were just handing out confetti when people walked down. There was like, um, not really an aisle, like a walkway bit where Kat and Stuart were gonna walk down and everyone lined up on either side and we gave them confetti. So that was my job. My job was, my Ken job was confetti. Then we, I marked that I avoided the rain because it, we were a bit touch and go whether it would rain or not. Um, and to be honest, like we were really lucky. I think Kat got a little bit wet, but mostly the photos were not. Um, so that was really good and like there's a really cute picture I've got of Tom like holding an umbrella over me as we walk to the gift shop because I really wanted to see the gift shop at the venue. Um, then I marked that we had some drinks and canapes. There was this really nice chicken. Um, I, I can't really remember like what it was like but I just remember the chicken. It was like on a little, on a little skewer. It was very nice and Tom spilled his drink down him. <laughs> this was before I'd like found him again. So like when I got to them, he was just like trying to deal with this like whole pint that he'd spilled on the floor and on himself. So um, that was the drinks. Then we had the reception and the food and stuff. It was so nice. Um, the dessert was like a chocolate, um, you know, when it's like a cake and inside is like liquid like a molten chocolate cake it was so good and Tom didn't like his so I didn't eat two <laughs> um and that was amazing then we had the speeches and they were so emotional like Kat did her did a speech as well which was amazing and then Stuart's speech was just it was just everything was just so cute and her bridesmaids did a speech and they're like from musical theatre background as well with Kat so they had like theatre references and it was so good then I marked that we did, well, I, I didn't do, but Kat and Stuart did the first dance and they cut the cake. And oh my God, the cake was so good as well. Just everything was amazing. <laughs> um, and then we had some outdoor games. So me and Tom played quite a lot of outdoor games. There was like giant Jenga. And you know, when you have like the little bags of beans and you like throw them in like holes <laughs> to score points. Um, what else? There was like, um, like a hoop throw thing, I think. But yeah, we played loads of those and me and Tom have a picture. There's some kind of like, I think it's like a dinosaur egg like photo thing where you, you know, where you can like stand behind kind of a sculpture and there's like holes for your head to put in. So me and Tom got a picture in this thing just because it was funny. And this child came and was like adamant he was going to sit like on the top of it between us. <laughs> so I marked that we got photo bombed by a child because it was funny. After that, we had the evening food, which was pizza. It was honestly like such good pizza. Uh, I really wanted to eat more of it, but I was feeling quite full because it like from lunch and um, like having cake and stuff. I think I had my cake before my pizza. I really wanted it. Um, but yeah, I, w I wish I could have like taken the pizza home. It was so good. Um, so after that, I marked that I drove to the hotel. So I dropped I think it was I think we dropped we dropped Lisa a lot at her hotel because she was at a different one and then Emma and Simon were at our hotel so they came back with us and then when we got back I was it was such a good day but I was so tired and I couldn't wait to get into bed um, and sadly like I mentioned I forgot my hairbrush so I did what I could to like take my hair out that evening just by like brushing it through my hands because like well, we had lots of hairspray and stuff in so I didn't do the, the greatest job but luckily I could borrow Emma's hairbrush the next morning so I was able to like salvage that and then I wrote that I was super tired but I did remember to write my memory notes which I'm so grateful for because I don't think I would have remembered like the order of everything Oh, they could have looked in Cat's Planner, but yeah, like I was like, yes, pat on the back for me. And then finally, the last thing I marked was that I had biscuits in bed because when we were getting ready to, when we were like packing, getting ready to leave, I was like, I bet I will want a snack on the Sunday night. And I was so right. So I got myself these like really nice chocolate biscuits for the evening, which I enjoyed in bed. <laughs> 
but yeah that is my completed wedding week spread those were the stickers that I had left from the kit and the foil pack but I am just obsessed with how this turned out it, it looks so pretty I love the little pops of heart foil even though it's not like the full theme and I just it's so pretty it's probably like the best spread I will ever make and I think it's a work of art <laughs> but yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye bye